September 30th, 2016, 11.05 a.m., calling Michael Garcia, who is supposed to be my court-appointed attorney in 15 CR 1287. Mike Garcia's law office. Hi, is Mike Garcia in? He won't be back till Tuesday. Oh, okay. I need to leave him a message. Does he have an answering machine or uh, I'll just take a voicemail? Out. This is Dr. Heidi Woodick. I'm his client, and I just needed to um, point out to him the illegal um, conduct of CMHIP. They want to do a competency evaluation on me. However, yeah, I, uh, I saved your message for him. Okay. Well, I just needed to message. note. I just needed to note, sir, that um, I'd like him to file a conflict of interest as. There are significant people at CMHIP that are um, in cahoots with my father, and we know them personally and professionally. And uh, um, so it would be a conflict. So we would need to get an evaluation from a third party, possibly a private um, therapist, a private psychologist, or maybe Parkview or something of that nature. But detaining my, me on education is absolutely absurd, or by the state wanting them to say that they need to hold me because of mental illness. If I'm competent to proceed, that would be a kidnapping. So I just wanted to bring that to his attention, and thank you for relaying the message for me. I greatly appreciate it. Can I give you my phone number? Uh, I have it. I think you left on the other recording, but okay. go ahead. 719-214-1181 is the best way to get a hold of me, and that's William's okay. phone. All right. Okay. Well, I'll talk to you uh, first after the first of the year. Thank you for taking okay, my message. Bye bye. Have a good day. Okay. Bye. Be it. I just showed you all of the CMHIP conflict of inform conflicts of interest and CMHIP's ploy to try to deem me incompetent and mentally ill to cover up their acts of murder on me and kidnapping of Olivia, and then my attorney doesn't step up and on my behalf and quash the order is actually legalized misrepresentation. There's no threat whatsoever made to him, just asking him to do his duties within the scope of the law.